Hey there guys, welcome to Arsenal Fan TV and this is the preview for our first game of 2016, Arsenal playing host to Newcastle United and what you would assume is a straightforward three points for us. Just had that superb win against Bournemouth at home, the 2-0 win and we've got Southampton away out of our minds almost immediately and in this game against Newcastle, like I say, should be a very simplistic three points as we know Arsenal at times like to make it a little bit more difficult than we should do but Newcastle is a team that we generally have an impe impeccable record against. So I'm confident going into the game. I mean, I can't remember the last time we lost to Newcastle or when, in fact, it was a difficult game against them. We've already beaten them once this season, 1-0 away from home. In what was a rather unconvincing performance, that was when we were going through that patch where own goal was actually our top goal scorer. But the team really has gelled since that point. And even though we are without a lot of our key names, I'm really confident that we should be turning over Steve McLaren's uh, Newcastle side. And, I mean, I would expect us to be getting quite a few goals in this game. That 4-0 defeat against Southampton did hurt us in terms of a goal difference. Spurs, City have both got a superior goal difference to us now. And it's important that we keep our goal difference as high as it possibly can be. And we can definitely get a couple of goals against this Newcastle side, especially the way we've been playing going forward. So I'm aiming for, surprise, surprise, a 3 or 4-0 win, which may sound overly ambitious, but I do believe we've got the talent uh, in this side to beat Steve McLaren's team. And they have been rather inconsistent this season, to say the very least. In fact, I would say for the most part of the season, they've been incredibly under par. And again, it's another season where Newcastle are looking to survive relegation by the skin of their teeth. I mean, Newcastle have been so unbelievably under par for the past couple of years. It's mental to think that Alan Pardew got them into like a fifth position not so long ago. But to be where they are now for a club of Newcastle's stature is... I mean, it's not really surprising anymore. They've been in that situation for quite a long time now, but I really think they should be doing better, especially with the investment that they've got in the squad. They have brought in a couple of players over the summer. Wijnaldum is definitely a superior player that they've got within that side. He's a player that I'm not looking too, uh, too forward to coming up against. Got loads of pace, loads of power, loads of energy. As well as that similar player in Ali Sissoko. Um, he looks very dangerous for them in that creative midfield position. He's a player that we've got to keep one eye out for. But up top, they've got quite a variety in striking options. They've got Mitrovic, Cisse and Iosi Perez. And if I had to pick one of those players that I don't want us to come up against, it would be Iosi Perez. And for the for the mere reason that he's a similar player to Shane Long in terms of his short, low centre of gravity, got a lot of pace and a very good finesse on him, I definitely think that given his age, he does have a lot of potential to be a real quality player. And I'm not too sure how he'd cope against someone like Per Mertzak, or should I say how Mertzak would cope against him. I think it'd be a much more adapted to playing against someone like Alexander Mitrovic who hasn't got the best disciplinary record and has a bit and hasn't really been firing on all fronts for Newcastle this season. A few changes that I would make in this Arsenal side, um, not really a change but I would keep Gabriel in the Arsenal team from the game against Bournemouth because he was superb in that game and I want to see Koscielny coming alongside him because those two, like I've said so many times, I want to see these two build a long term partnership at the back for us. They could be an absolute immense partnership in the defensive department and I want to see it utilised in this game against Newcastle. Fullbacks wouldn't change a thing about that. Bella and a Monreal pick themselves in my opinion going up the pitch a little bit further Aaron Ramsey in the midfield position but who do you start Flamini or Callum James one eye possibly on that game against Sunderland in the FA Cup but if we're going to prioritise one of the two, I would say this game against Newcastle comes first in the league. So possibly it would be better to play Flamini in this game and then James in the game against Sunderland or play James in both of those games. I think James had a really good game against Bournemouth and maybe it would be ideal to start him in this game against Newcastle. But I'll leave that one up for debate. Get your team lineups in the comments box below. I'm edging towards Flamini and then playing James in the cup game at Sunderland. And then on the right-hand side of the pitch, I'd bring, in Bra I'd bring in Joel Campbell from the game against Bournemouth. I'd play Ozil through the middle. And on the left-hand side, I'd actually play uh, Alex Oxley chain and possibly give Fia Walcott a rest with Olivier Giroud up top. So my team in full would be Pesicek in goal, Bellerin, Koscielny, Gabriel, Nacho Monreal, Matthew Flamini, Aaron Ramsey, Joel Campbell, Meza Ozil, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and Olivier Giroud. So we're still rotating the squad that little bit more. Fantastic options off the bench in the likes of Fia Walker. And maybe if we are winning this game by quite a hefty margin with about 10 minutes left or 20 minutes left, it would be good to see a little bit more of Alex Awobi. I mean, I am looking forward to that game against Sunderland and seeing if we get to uh, have a look at a, a little bit of more of a um, glimpse at our fringe players like Awobi, Adelaide, etc and maybe bringing Callum Chambers to test him in that defensive midfield role yet again. But I do have no issue whatsoever with Callum Chambers starting this game. In fact, I'd like to see him get a run out in the team yet again, get his confidence building up. But then again, I wouldn't really have too much of an issue with Flamley starting. Whoever starts really should be good enough to beat this Newcastle team. So get your thoughts in the game in the comments box below. Please do leave your team lineups as well in the comments. Like the video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV if you're new to the channel. And as always, I'll be speaking to you very, very soon.